Wow. What's up? What's up? What's up, Jonas? Got the dream team here. What are the odds? That's Stu, that's right there. What are the odds, man? What is that? Telephone? So we got 50, 54,000 pounds, right? Guy he, just, he just brought out the paperwork showing 38. Dang. Already buckled open a little bit. I see what you mean about room. Wow. You can't even get a truck in here. Yeah, Flipper could do it off the corner. Yeah. What the heck? So this is a, a tight spot. You can't put a truck here. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, dude. So check this out. We'll put flipper in the back here because of the outrigger. You don't have an underlift. Or I could just drop my underlift. We'll both go one in front of the other. We're gonna lift and push it out. Then we bring it to us. That's exactly what we're gonna do. It's definitely a, uh, a two rotator job for the way I have planned. We're, we're both gonna be right here, Jonas, one in front of the other. Yes, 100%. Because once we lift up, oh, we're gonna be so- Because I can help you from the other side. We're, we're gonna be so close to it. We'll be strong, we're gonna pick it up and kind of push it out. And, and roll by roll. And we, we have to, yeah, we're okay. gonna. So, Flipper's the one with the bigger, I want you up front, just in case you gotta boom out over that. I don't like that. And you, you gonna back it all the way in? Both of us, him and I. Okay. One rotator here, one rotator in front of the other. Okay, so let me go inside that, Josh. I can give you a little help right here. Nah, I'll, I'll back in there. Let me get in there first. Yeah, let me let me take care of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to U-turn over there. This is a tight street. Not a lot of room. We do them all the time, but I mean, it's always location, location, location. Each one's different.
get the remote. Uh, well, that was a tight squeeze. I caught the 360 from my side uh, mirror. So Alex grabbed it really quick. In hindsight, I should have just put it on this side. But check out this room we have to work in, guys. <laughs> Love it. Disconnect my lines and then I can back up even further to get that rear outrigger just on the outside of that tire. Yeah, this guy's completely blocked in. Alex and I are both going to be working off the back corners, which works out great because as we rotate it in front of us, it's gonna to come to the middle of our, our trucks where we're the strongest off the side and then we're gonna barrel roll it. Like that fire hydrant video I posted recently. That's enough height for what I'm gonna do. great now let me back up literally a foot not even a foot but like I said I want to clear that tire right now it's gonna hit and I'll pop that Beautiful, man. Now we just get this out of the way, though. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'll put it on the outside. Just a mud flap. Perfection. Now one thing to keep in mind when doing these very close quarters jobs is your turret. These ones sit flush within my mirrors. Therefore I should be fine, but um, oh, lay off the Taco Bell. I don't want it to hit that fence, so let me just do a test. Oh, 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 don't catch that barbed wire. Yeah, I'm digging it. Especially when I put my outrigger down. To do that, let me get rid of a... Uh, huh. Let me put the outriggers down or give me some height so I can clear that fence. Is it raining? Yeah. Leave it. Wow. This weather's so bipolar. We're gonna have a- 100 day. degrees and then a hurricane and then 100 degrees, now it's raining again all in, in a week and a half. Awesome winter, brother. Get ready for it. Como caliente or what? Cold, windy, snow. Everything. Yeah. Do you have a snow chain for the truck? 
to you. Oh no. You're gonna need them. I've never used those in my life. Never? Never. There. Really? Jonas is saying I need snow. I'm gonna need snow chains. To do a barrel roll, my boom actually has to be right here. I only rotated it to make sure I would clear it. Oh man, Alex is giving himself no margins for error. It's got to come straight up. Papitas. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my 10 footers. Alex! Alejandro. Alex! Platinum slings? Platinum slings? Yep. Identical as last time. Yeah. yeah, except this time we can go straight to the holes. The 53 footer I did was uh, had extended holes on the inside. This one we can go straight to the holes, dude. Oh, you know what? That, that's the plan. We're going to be in 90 yeah. degrees. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get our front from yeah. here. Yeah. So, we can start from here and here doing the lifting. Bottom. We're going to lift up and then... We're this. not going to re-rig. We're going to stay in the same rigging okay, position so for the... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use my platinum. I got a platinum sling for this. Let's get my rigging out. Okay guys, I didn't have the DJI on for the, the rigging part. It's nighttime, it's not too well lit. And this thing needs a lot of light for the stabilization to work well. But I got my 10 foot Bailey's Platinum Slings. Those are 30,000 in the basket. One on each corner. We're gonna lift straight up in the air and then rotate it. Now we can't lift too high up because we'll hit that. So we're gonna have to do it so close to the ground. We can come in contact with it. So if we need an extra foot or two, I'm, I mean, I don't plan on it, but it's doable. We're gonna need mad height for this one, man. Mad height. I'm going to be every bit of like 50 degrees on this one. Master Link. Yeah. 
Let me give you a, a strap. Huh? I'll just give you a, a big shackle fits to there. I don't want to side load it. Yeah, it is because when you put it through there, the side it's gonna side load on that. It's gonna pull up. Let me give you the other one. Yeah, and then connect connect the container there. The only thing is that you need to fish the, the that it went through already. That Kevlar lining. Yeah. Twist it together. The way you did it right now, it went in. There you go. Just keep playing with it like that. It's gonna, it already went through. There you go. Keep pulling it. There you go. Put them right there. Yeah, thanks, man. Jobs like this, man, you gotta be so, so careful. Let me just adjust this. And I'm high up there. Max it out. Yes, sir. I also got a cool little trick I plan on doing. You want to go and run on a table? No, sir. Jonas has a good point that if I'll run out of cable, negative, because once we got it at least two feet in the air, we have even more wiggle room because now I can get it close to my truck or push it away and then use a boom once it's airborne. No, final piece for this crazy job to be complete is a Bailey sleeve right here. <laughs> Look at that. There. Because I do plan on lifting at an angle this way. You know what? Let me see if, uh, if it's even in the middle. Remember, this thing has to come up dead even. I'm already, I'm already bringing it up, and I'm on my weak side. See if Alex is ready. 
YouTube the line. Café? Yay! I like these guys. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Show the audience what we got. Well, at least the coffee's good. Winchell's. All right, Alex is ready. Josh is ready. Hi, I'm Josh. This coffee's delicious. Yes, sir. Good. Hold it. Clear your outrigger. Go, go in with the cables. I know. Rotate that way. Clear, clear that first. Did you clear your outriggers? Yeah. Let's start rotating slowly, okay? That was cool. With not much room for air, like we said. Okay, I'm feeling very comfortable with it. Wanna rotate some more? Yeah. All How you doing? Off the side? Three feet? Alright, let's go then. Now we're perfect off the side. There, huh? Yeah. Not bad, man, not bad. Now this part... Uh, let's do it. Ready, Alex? Yeah. Okay, now to compensate for that stupid line, let's let out on the catch slowly. Catch only. Yeah, let's just follow each other's lead.
What's all that sound, Jonas? What is that, metal? Uh, solar panels. Solar panels? Yeah, inside of the thing. Well, it was solar panels. It's cracked now. tension on that catch line. Yeah. So that means that the load shifted. Yeah. It shifted back. We'll hold it there until uh what are they gonna do? Jonas put a track that yard goat outside in front of it? Pretty wicked job huh guys? How's that for finesse? That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. So now what? Hold on. 
your job well. All right, Alex, you ready to set it down? shift always uh, very common so I'm letting out tension with both my cables man that was a lot of tension on this uh, you see how they're both well, probably can't see from there but they're both free now it's Alex's turn and if it leans to one side hard off the bat it shifted that's pretty, huh? pretty good straight as an arrow guys love the DJI but man nothing compares to the Sony my blocks and then shimmy my way to the toolbox pretty sweet job man those barrel rolls very nifty
right, guys, just like that, Josh is out of here. Folks put away. I even go forward a little bit to give myself some clearance. Jonas is just helping Alex right now. He's about almost done. Just the ladder and the outriggers. And that was our fun job. Hope y'all enjoyed. More barrel rolls coming soon. Peace.